My name is Christina, and I work on solar cells in Roy Gordon's group at Harvard University. The solar panels on roofs today are made of silicon, but we'd like to try a new material that could hopefully be more efficient. And in the past five years, that material has really taken off, and it's called a perovskite solar cell. Um, there's still some chemistry challenges, though, to making perovskites work. Um, like, one of them is they're not stable for very long, and the other, which we're trying to tackle in our lab right now, is that they're made of lead as one of the components. Um, but lead is pretty toxic. It's actually banned in most materials, like in Europe, for example. So if we could make it out of an alternate metal that's still cheap, but not toxic, toxic, then hopefully perovskites can hit the market. And in my project, um, which I work on with collaborators, we're working on trying to make perovskites out of tin, which would be cheap um, and would hopefully be just as efficient, we'll see, but which would be non-toxic. Okay, so this, these are furnaces where we keep the materials that we're going to use for the solar cell. Um, we use a program to control the materials that come out of the furnace and into, this is my oven. It's where I heat up and make my solar cells. This is like the, the baking tray for my oven. So, it's called a tube furnace. So I'll open it up. And there are no solar cells on here right now. But what I'll do is I'll take like, um, like blank glass, for example, there, and I'll place my samples onto the onto the baking sheet, and then put them in the oven. Then, through a computer program, I can control when um, the different materials flow from the furnace into this chamber, and they go one layer at a time. So this is a computer we use to um, install a program that builds up the material as we go. Um, then when it's done, I take them out, and I'll take them over to test them.